Uh, we had to set the mood for Friday. It is Friday. Um, I was originally thinking to do a Invincible and um, a bit of a reaction to what's happening with Activision Blizzard. But honestly, being Friday, I didn't want to set the tone on a negative. I wanted to um, kick it off with, you know, something light, something fun, something to let us all sort of unwind and get into the weekend of live streams. And I figure what's the best way to do it? And it's just getting into the zone with some Slavic music and, you know, committing a little bit of um, uh, copyright infringement. But, you know, being, I mean, vodka on the rocks, it's made by a guy called Zanko. And, uh, if this does turn out to be, you know, like a copyright issue and a DMCA claim, I can just reach out to him and say, Hey, brate, I didn't with a pravish sranya, you know? Um, <laughs> because let's face it, come on, man. You know, I, I haven't heard uh, many artists going nuts when someone plays their song, you know? Uh, if anything, that helps. So it's mostly the music labels that want to take an arm and a leg and, you know, squeeze every dollar they can out of any industry, whereas most of the artists actually want their work promoted and they want it front and center wherever they can. So, you know, uh, if you like the song, look it up. If you like the artist, follow them on um, Spotify or find them on YouTube, you know. I think uh, MySpace is still a place for artists, but you know, it's one of those things. Support, support content that you like and artists that you like and, you know, help them grow, help them get their name out there. That's what it's all about. That's what this whole thing is about. So, um, Let's kick it off with uh, Invincible Episode 8, and then we're going to jump into Final Fantasy 7 Abridged. And as you can see, I still haven't cut the beard. It's, uh, it's almost... Is it two weeks? Is it almost three weeks? It's almost three weeks old. It's going to be three weeks old uh, on Tuesday. So it's, uh, it's actually forming into a beard, and, I, and I've been contemplating keeping the moustache, you know, to... Um, Maybe do a King Bradley cosplay because the man's a beast. He's got a very square frame, which is uh, very similar to mine. It's not very complicated. A pair of uh, leather boots, blue pants, and like a white business shirt and a couple of sabers and a glorious mustache and maybe an eye patch and uh, you're good to go. So I was thinking, hey, I committed two and a half weeks to this. Um, you know, why don't I finish the job sort of thing? And we can have a little bit of fun with it because obviously there's a big beard and we could do the whole goatee thing first and have some fun with that. You know, like the whole Napa moustache and then you can have the regular, you know, King Bradley moustache and then we can have Hachan's favorite character from World War II moustache. Uh, and we can have a lot of fun with this, you know? Let's have a little bit of fun with it. We're in lockdown, there's COVID. I don't have to go to work. I can keep my facial hair. Let's, let's use this opportunity to have a little bit of fun and make some good shit posts. All right, so let's kick off with uh, Invincible episode eight. I've been looking forward to this all week and uh, I promise to keep my ranting to a minimum during the episode. And at the end of the episode, we'll have that full blown discussion. So I'll try to keep it on topic. Uh, remind me if I go a little bit off topic, but obviously, you know, if something big happens, give me a little bit, give me a little bit. Let me react to it. All right, let's kick it off. And I hope you enjoyed the flag in the background. It was tough to get that up. I had to get a adhesive to get it up, but it's up now. I filled in most of the slots in the background. You'll notice there's invert controls are a bitch. You'll notice there's a slot here still empty. There's fucking inverse controls. Um, this slot is still empty. And this slot is just filled with those um, soundproof foam. So I still got to fill a few slots. So if anyone has any suggestions what I should put in there, please let me know. Because I'd like to turn this place into, you know, I'd like it to have a vibe. We've got Mr. Monokuma. We've got Assassin's Creed 2 Black Edition. We've got Pedro. Uh, we've got Tomb Slayer, World of Warcraft, we've got, you know, the Inari Fox, the Serbian flag, Star Wars, the Old Republic. I'd like to have a little bit of a, you know, atmosphere here because uh, this place is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be our space. We've got to make it our own, you know? All right, let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. Man, weren't there a few Pokemon episodes that got pulled um, for causing... You know, seizures. Get out of my house! We'll talk later. Where's Mark, Debbie? Ugh, I know you're a superhero. Fly away, fly boy. Hey, Eve. So I'm helping you today. I've been growing you a new body. Does Mark know that his dad's a murderer? Keep out of this, Cecil. It's Mark's mom. I need to talk to him. What's going on? 
Where's Omniman? Where is he? Murderer! You betrayed us! You should have stayed dead. Ooh. Dad? You definitely feel that. You definitely feel that. Oh god, the torso is gonna drop, isn't it? There it is. Okay, bottom half. I was half right. Nah, <laughs> see what I did there? That was unintentional. Mark. We need to talk. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. He is. Oh, fuck. No. Someone's controlling you. Dad. Dad, tell me how to stop them. Mark. Let my dad go. Let him. Let him go. Stop. Hey, you guys remember, and I'm keeping it short, you guys remember that uh, uh, Super Saiyan 1 Ascended Vegeta fight with uh, Imperfect Cell and Trunks? Is anyone getting those vibes here? A little bit. And I'm also getting the vibes when you find out your uncle's a uh, war criminal. Ah, slub families. It's just me. <laughs> this isn't how I wanted to do this, but I don't have a choice. It's time for you to know where I really come from. Oh boy. I am from Viltrum, but it's not the planet I've told you about. We have created a perfect civilization, but it took all of our strength, determination, and courage to get there. In order for our people to reach their full potential, we had to remove the weak from our society. It was a long and difficult process. When it was over, our population was cut in half. Holy! What emerged from the ashes was unstoppable. By the time I was born, Viltrum was already the greatest empire in our galaxy. Has anyone noticed the BFG 9000s? Nice. But holy shit! We decided to make it the only empire in our galaxy. Once I was old enough, I joined the war effort. It was hard, but I believe in our cause. Some species resisted, of course, but no one could withstand us for long. So what, they resisted being killed? Oh no, they shouldn't have done that. Soon our empire encompassed thousands of planets. But as our territory grew, our forces were stretched thin and our expansion stopped. We needed a better, more efficient way to conquer worlds. Our most trusted officers were each given a planet to weaken by themselves. I was one of those lucky few. I couldn't tell your mother why I was here. But that time's come to an end. So your empire was stretched thin because you guys killed each other. Why didn't you just... You know what I mean? I mean, that'd be quicker, right? And now, we need to get Earth ready to join the Viltrum Empire. It would take too long? What, nine months versus how old is he? Mark, this is good news. We can finally do what we were meant to do. Be who we were meant to be. You lied to me. You couldn't know the truth. Not until you had your powers. Not until I was sure. Sure of what? Sure you were a Viltrumite. Oh, so he would have killed him if he wasn't. Oh, 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 man. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's, that's, oh, wow. That is like the most slub thing ever. <laughs> How much you want to bet the next question is going to be, what about mom? And it's going to be, what about her? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. So if I wasn't, I'd just be one more human to conquer. No, th this doesn't make any sense. You love me. You love mom. I know you do. How much you want to bet that he's going to say something like, 
Love is a uh, recessive biochemical response that animals have in order to ensure that the species survives. The next natural step in evolution is not having emotion. Oh shit, I've seen enough magical Madoka go to know where this shit is going. Oh fuck. DNA is so pure, you're nearly full-blooded. You'll live for thousands of years. Do you understand what that means? Everyone you know and love will be gone before you even look 30. It's not something I want for you. This isn't your world. It's theirs. But we can help them. We can stop wars, eliminate hunger, give the medical technology centuries ahead of what they have now. And yeah, you know, stop their suffering by killing them first, right? I mean, you know, who doesn't need a new intergalactic parking lot? I mean, we need one. Let's turn New Zealand into a parking lot. Let, 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 let's turn Paris into a shopping strip. Holy shit. We've already been doing it. If it wasn't for you and me, this planet would be in flames. All we have to do is welcome Earth into our empire. <laughs> and I rule it. Love <laughs> His father mother, and son. <laughs> but she's more like a, a pet to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love your mother, but like, she's more of a pet, you know? Like, like Cheeky, like my dog. She's cute and cuddly and, you know, you feed her and you pat her and you cuddle her, but... Holy sh... <laughs> Oh, I think Doomslayer would like to have a word with him. I do love your mother, but she's more like a a pet to me. A pet? This is the only way, Mark. Don't touch me. Calm down. I will not calm down. This is insane. What do you think is going to happen? That I'm going to go enslave my friends for a bunch of aliens I've never met? This is my life. These are my people. We have a responsibility to Viltrum. I don't give a shit about Viltrum. And I don't care if I live a fucking million years. This is my home, and I won't let you destroy it. You don't know what you're saying. And I can't let you interfere. I know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, that's cute. So be it. Ooh. Ooh. Do you really think you can stop me? Hit him in the nuts! He must feel something down there. Ooh! Yeah, let's throw a few pilots to their deaths. Why not? Holy fuck. Okay, well, what do we do? Do we go out there? And do what? We couldn't even keep up with them. No. We follow Cecil's orders and remain here. This battle is beyond our current capabilities. Robot is... Rudy's right. We'll get our chance to help. Eve! Oh, Jesus Christ. Can't Eve okay? do something? I'm fine. What's happening with Mark and Omni? She's able to, like, rearrange matter, right? So she could I truly hope Mark lives up to his name. rearrange him. To face his father and survive, he'll need to be... <laughs> oh, I love that. Unfortunately for Mark, I don't think it's a little bit like a Saiyan or a uh, DMC scenario where being a half year or a quarter still enables you to, you know, get full power. I think in this case, he's kind of weaker as opposed to stronger. He can't affect organic tissue. Ah, shit. Don't do this! It's not too late! Yes, it is. 
Oh! Target acquired. Engaging. Cecil wants to waste more time. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. As soon as they separate, hit them with everything you've got. Roger that. It's right to pity them, Mark. But wrong to value them over your own kind. Remember when I said he reminded me a little bit of Hitler? This is what Hitler would have wanted to be. Yeah, he pulled an apple. Oh, JJ. He is going a long way to prove a point. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, wow. Killed him! Now we're in 50 years when he's old, what difference does it make? What difference? He'd have a life. Did seeing that man lose his life disturb you? Did it hurt? Well, let's see how you handle this. Wow. Isn't that a little hypocritical? If that's really how you feel, and considering your son's age is only slowed, not stopped, he's going to die before you as well. So isn't it a little hypocritical for you to be saying that? Considering you're trying to turn your son out of some... whatever you want to call it? I mean... You're being a hypocrite here, man. I, I He doesn't realize it, but he's being a hypocrite. He's been sentimental. Why? Because he came from his balls or something? Stop your roll. That's a lot of momentum. Jesus. Even the costume didn't make it. That wall alone wouldn't be able to support the weight on the whole building. It would crumble. I've got you. I've, I've got you. Don't move. Don't move. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared, okay? What's it going to be, Mark? One woman or all the people? Early scenario, Mark. One life or multiple. Why are people standing there looking at a falling building? It's a deer in the headlights moment. 
fight or flight, people become paralyzed. It's the same thing that happens when someone pulls a knife on you on the street. If you never encountered that scenario before, you shit yourself and you're frozen. You can't do shit about it. That's why you need to get that fear out of you. That's why they use live rounds in combat training. Oh! It's near replicant all over again. If it was going to turn I'll Super Saiyan, it's going to happen this. now. That was your fault. Your stubbornness against the inevitable killed those people. How many more need to die, Mark? It's up to you. Wow. What were they doing? Listen to what I'm saying. You know in your heart I'm right. Right? About how pathetic and pointless humanity is. Is mom's life worthless? In the grand scheme of things. Yes. <gasps> Debbie. How can you say those things? How can you say that about mom? Jesus. Daddy, I, I need to save them. No. Oh Maybe crap. This time you will learn. We're doing the matrix. I'll be honest, I always wondered what would happen if someone like Superman went dark side. I can't believe it took us how many years to get to this. Shit. These people are meaningless. They're cavemen without us. You're wrong. I've seen you save people. I've seen you almost die to protect them. Maybe you were a Viltrumite when you came to Earth, but you've changed. You were happy here. Sure, I was happy for a time. But I'm loyal to Viltrum, not this pathetic excuse for a civilization. Ouch. So much momentum, he rebounded off. Oh my god. You aren't listening, Mark. My time here has been a speck in the span of my life. You don't know me. I will burn this planet down before I spend another minute living among these animals. Please. Ooh. Kinda makes you wish you paid attention in training. Oh yeah, he's getting Goku. He like the whole three the Goku thing. There is a middle ground, you know? You didn't have to go all the way one way or all the way another way. You kind of neglected him for 16 years and he ba it became a beta cuck boy. That's on you. You could have, you know, thrown a ball with him before his balls dropped or something. I don't know. Your life has been soft and painless. You're a Viltrumite in blood only. 
Well, your true education begins now. How are they filming him? He's he's broken what? Mark four, Mark five. Gear up. We can't stop this fight, but we can't save lives. Cecil's orders were to stay here. We don't care. I'm pretty sure the drones can't go beyond the sound barrier. You're not a robot anymore, remember? Now's not the time. You can think about your penis later. Really? There goes the Titanic. What are you gonna do? Kill Cthulhu's son? Of course. Sure, destroy another landmark, what I'm sure. Okay then. What is he expecting is gonna happen? Had enough yet? I'll stop you. I'm ready when you are. You're doing this for nothing. Being a part of the Empire will make Earth better than it ever was. And what if they resist? That's why we're here. To keep them from resisting. To show them how wrong they are. How pointless it is. That they can be a part of something bigger. Or die. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. You want to die for this planet? Fine! What's 17 more years? I can always start again. Make another kid. I mean, why don't you? Why do you care so much? That is so hypocritical. Man, look at those biceps and triceps. I have to watch this game. I'd have a better view from above. You know you can't do that. I mean, I get it. And I'm kind of the same idea. What, what used to me is a kid before they turn into an adult and I can do adult things. But at the same time, he's entirely hypocritical. If they're so meaningless, why'd you wait so long? Oh, because you had a kid. Well, then you're being sentimental. I mean, if humans are so weak, you're exhibiting human emotions and attachment because he's your blood. Is that it? Because I think you're kind of full of shit if that's what you're going with. It's bad enough you're standing over here like a weirdo. I mean, he's just being a tsundere right now. Because if he believed what he was saying, he would have just been like, all right, fuck it, I'll just make another one. Like, <laughs> he's being a tsundere. He needs another Viltrumite to weaken all of Earth's heroes? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. I, I think he's clearly demonstrated he can kick their butts. Why was he waiting so long? I, 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 think, he's, I think he's trying to convince himself. I think he's full of shit. I think he has a little bit of sentimentality to Mark. He's emotionally attached to him, whether or not he wants to admit it. For the mission? Oh, that was his mission. Well, if his mission was to create at least another one, wouldn't he impregnate multiple women and run to the grocery store for a packet of smokes? I mean, if the mission was to create another one, he could have just impregnated a few dozen women. No one would have been the wiser because their powers wouldn't kick in for a while. And then you just wait for the baby that starts destroying half of Manhattan. I mean, come on, man. This is a waste of everyone's time. There's so much more I could be doing right now. Yo, Mark! Oh, you're gonna miss it. Can I just ask, what is she doing with him? Let's be real here. He doesn't come across as the world's greatest... Dad. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Tsundere of killing the whole populace to prove a point for the sun. Yeah, a Slavic tsundere. Look at Mark. You and I, we made him. He's ours. When he feels joy, we feel joy. See that look on his face? 
No. How can you see that and not feel the same way? Strike two. As we get older, it's harder to feel that. The weight of the world, it bogs us down. Oh. 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 I saw that. I saw that. Nice one, honey. But our children remind us of the joys in life. It brings us back. Shows us what life is all about. This is humanity. Oh, what's going on there? What's going on there? You can't have it both ways, you bastard. Damn it. See? See, he did that typical thing through a temper tantrum, trying to convince himself that he's a hard, cold bastard. He basically did a Vegeta in the Boo arc. That's all he did. He's a big tsundere. And now he feels bad. Why did you make me do this? I love that! <laughs> Why did you make me do this? It's your fault. Ah, oh, typical, typical, wow, typical, that is some, that is some typical domestic abuse shit if I've ever seen it, wow, oh, <laughs> anyone from Eastern Europe knows this. So you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark. You'll outlast every fragile, insignificant being on this planet. You'll live to see this world crumble to dust and blow away. Everyone and everything you know will be gone. What will you have after 500 years? Ooh. 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 Mark used feelings. It was super effective. Right in the feels. He hit him right where it fucking hurts. Shut up, chicky. Dad. <laughs> Hypocrite. He, he, he's a hypocrite and he fucking knows it. He's a hypocrite and he knows it. And he thinks that by convincing Mark, that proves him right. That's not how it works. It's like, oh yeah, they're all gonna die, so I'm not gonna get emotionally attached. She's like a pet. Yeah, but my pet's gonna die eventually. Yeah, that doesn't mean what you feel for your pet isn't real. That doesn't mean you still don't love your pet. That doesn't mean you still wake up in the morning and you cuddle her and you feed her and you love seeing her happy. It doesn't mean that that emotion isn't real. Just because you have the, national, uh, the natural realization that yes, 
one day your pet will die. Well, fucking one day everyone will die. That doesn't mean that in that moment you're not happy. <laughs> like, you're such a hypocrite. <laughs> and he fucking knows it. He fucking knows it. He's a big tsundere. He's a big fucking tsundere. He's just incapable of expressing himself and connecting to his son because he probably was never, you know, brought up in a household where someone connected with him. I mean, if you asked me why someone like that would join the military or why someone like that would join, you know, a group or a society or a martial art or, you know, even a team sport, it's because they were lacking that in their household. Absentee parents create children that seek out that father or mother figure in their own lives. Why would someone like that join the military and work under someone? Because they want to follow someone. They need that father or mother figure. Why does Mark still call him dad after all this shit? Because that's his father figure. As flawed as he is, that's still his daddy. <laughs> it's... It... <laughs> and that's probably why it hits him in the feels because he was probably like that when he was a kid god knows how long ago but all he got was destroy this break that kill that he probably didn't even want to do it in the beginning but he did it to get someone else's approval to please someone else to please his mommy or daddy figure that's why he's out here in the middle of fucking nowhere away from home to get the praise of mommy and daddy Whoever the fuck they are on Viltrum, I don't know who they are, but I'm taking a stab in the dark here. And now he actually has someone that genuinely likes him for him. Not the him that he's projecting. You know, because he's lied to his wife and everyone else, but his son still likes him regardless of what he just did. And that's gotta hurt. So, that's why he's being a big tsundere. That's why he's being a big baby and crying in space. Because he's never had to feel that before. Big tsundere. Jack. I can't begin to explain the devastation, the pain. What are you doing? The loss. It's like nothing. Nothing I've ever seen. And we're all asking the same question. How could someone promise to keep us safe, to protect us against any threat? Here's the thing that I do not understand about Amber whatsoever. We watched the previous episodes, and I know a few of you put it in the comments, and I really do appreciate it. And she was like, oh, I knew you were invincible all along. Then what the fuck was the whole, where were you? And then they were like, oh, that was a bad mistranslation. They really shouldn't have said that. They kind of put in the whole, I knew who you were to... For whatever reason, but they didn't actually pay attention to what happened previously, so it felt so out of place and created this giant gaping plot hole which made absolutely no sense. So, okay, let's ignore that. Let's ignore the hole that she knew who he was. It still isn't cool that she was dating him. She knew that he was inexperienced. She knew that he was hopeless and didn't know how to take a hint. But she could see that he was genuinely trying and he was sweet in his own way. Okay, maybe he's not your flavor of ice cream, 
But, you know, he tried. Like, come on, he tried. You, you don't just pick up a first timer and expect him to ace it. He's trying. And he fucked up a few times, particularly in the dinner with the parents where he didn't show up. And I can get that. You would be upset. But then you find out that he's invincible and he's literally doing his best to try to save society, save the world, and save lives. You would think that would give him brownie points. But it was like, no, it's over. And it's kind of like, oh, okay, it's over. But it still doesn't say change the situation that when you thought he fucked up, your instinct was to go to a party and just, you know, try to rebound on some other random guy. And this is before you're even in university. You're like, what? 16, 17, 18? And that's what you do? That, that, that's your, that's your, that's your response? I mean, how emotionally attached were you to someone if your response is just to jump on the horse, which is another horse? I mean, you know, we've all been young, we've all been there, we've all been through a breakup, but apart from the whole egotistical, well, I gotta get back on that horse to get over it thing, how many of us actually tried? I mean, we told ourselves, yeah, I'm just gonna go screw someone else, but how many of us actually went out there and did it? Not many. Meanwhile, she's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna go over there, and it's like, Oh, okay, he's at the party. I'm just like, yeah, I see you. Fuck it. I don't care. It's like, really? Really? And then you find out he's invincible. And then you still go with that? Then it's like, well, shit. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like, shit. I mean, he kind of dodged the bullet on that one. But if you were going for a first timer anyway, what the fuck did you expect? And then you're like crying, like, who are you crying for? Are you crying for him? Or are you crying because this means you're gonna die? Because if you really cared about him, would you have really treated him like that? Because that breakup was kind of... You know what I mean? It wasn't exactly a nice breakup. Yeah, they just wanted to make her woke and not take back the bad boyfriend. If that's how you want to label a woke person that doesn't take back a bad boyfriend, you're not exactly portraying it in a positive light. If I remember correctly, she didn't find out on her own muck told her before their relationship got serious. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, she feels guilty. Well, is this what gets you to feel guilty? Because if you felt guilty, you would have felt guilty regardless. Because right now, it almost feels like you're wasting, you know, scenes in the show. Because at the moment, I'm kind of like, oh, you broke up with him. Well, you're kind of treating him like shit, even when you found out he was, you know, trying to balance a relationship while saving the world. So, you know, go have fun with whatever you want to do with your life. Like, <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> and then they're kind of like, oh, she's still in the show. And it's like, yeah, but why? <laughs> like, you've been yamcha a while ago. No one cares about you anymore. You know? You're like... Yeah, you've been yamcha pretty much. Ten, again. The cost in lives... The cost in lives is incalculable. <laughs> Thankfully, the Guardians of the Globe and Adam Eve are on the scene. There's been no sign of Omni-Man invincible since yesterday. In time, we hope to know what ended this attack. But for now, we can be thankful that the danger is behind us. Is this even doing anything? I would think his natural cells had very strong, you know, healing abilities on their own. Don't try to talk. You're gonna be okay. You're safe now. <laughs> it's all over. Safe's a relative term. Here, drink. Does he need to drink? He's got the tube in him.
See, that's kind of... You, you kind of get who Mark is in a nutshell. He's, he's crying because he couldn't convince his father to stop. And all those people died because he couldn't convince his father. It's not because he lost in a fist fight with his dad. It's because he couldn't convince him and because he wasn't enough for him to stop. It's that whole... You know, I failed my parents sort of thing. It's... You kind of see what type of person he is straight off the bat. I'll let you rest. <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Look, I was, uh, I was wanting to... Um, look, if this is too much... Just say so. If it were me, it would ease my mind and other things are taken care of. So. Just get on with it, Cecil. Since we want to preserve Omni-Man's secret identity to keep you and Mark safe, Nolan Grayson officially died when the house across the street exploded from a gas leak. The Nolan's travel books always sold well, but sales will see a significant spike after his death. So you and Mark will be fine for money. And don't be alarmed if you see yourself and Mark on the news. We send proxies to the funeral so your lives can go back to some kind of normal once Mark's healed up. Normal? Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I mean look, what I meant was... No. I'm sorry. This is all very kind. Thank you. Yeah. No, I was doing everything under my nose and I never saw it. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't make things as right as they can be. <laughs> was he in the fucking suit? I thought he was just controlling it remotely, but he was in the fucking suit. Oh my god. It's it. Did you hear that? It sounded like a can coming out of like a machine. Did you hear that? Listen to it. <laughs> it sounded like a beer coming out. Oh man. <sighs> Isn't that the opposite of what you want? You want to—you don't want to be in the suit, because if the suit gets destroyed, you're fucked. What's he doing? We haven't earned it yet. Seriously? Wow, she just used like a week of her thingy because she used it twice in one day for him. That's significant because she's supposed to only use it like once a week, right? Or like once a day. Why is she even in the scene? No one cares about her. Ooh, he could be a Naruto character with that throw. Why do characters in this show always wear the same clothes? It saves money on animation. And also it makes it more difficult to make a mistake if they're wearing the same thing. See, like, he went fishing with him. I don't think he just did that to be like, yeah, I'm a real person with real hobbies.
That's a neat trick. I'm surprised oh, the mail hasn't uh, been stolen. Hey, William. Oh, um, hey, Eve. Uh... Have you heard from Mark? Not since that stuff between him and his dad on the news. I'm really worried that... Oh, shit. Wait a minute. You know he's invincible? Oh, man. You know, too? Oh, thank God. I thought I blew it. You think he's okay? I don't know. Oh, God. Don't let this be the finale. Come on, dude. That is... Oh, thank God. We still have a third of the episode. I was going to say... Why do I feel like this is the room where they would drop someone in if they want to give them sensory deprivation to torture them? Fuck that shit! She heard everything? How could you do that? Don't you think she deserves to know the truth? Yeah, but- Your mother knew he killed the Guardians, but she was holding out the hope there was a good reason for it. So was I. Better for her to know everything about your father. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Wait a minute, where are we? Sorry. Lights. The fuck? That's enough. Lights. What? What the hell just happened? Where'd all that go? The water America drinks so conveniently from their taps is laced with a chemical that inhibits the ability to see certain frequencies of light. Those frequencies are used in this room. So it's all just invisible? You and everyone else in America do not have the ability to see the things in this room. You'd be surprised how often we use this. Wow. To answer your question, we monitored your father until he left our solar system. He didn't change trajectory, so he's going somewhere pretty um, we need a replacement. Is that that conspiracy about how they put fluoride in the water, supposedly making that um, part of your brain that the Egyptians considered the third eye inactive? No, not now, not yet. Your dad didn't leave me with a lot of options, Mark. If I can't call on you, well, there's not really a list past the Guardians of the Globe. I know. I'm sorry. It's just... It's too much. I shouldn't have brought this up so soon. Let's get you and your mother home first. See, this is why I have trust issues. We fixed the house. Talked to your school and Debbie's work. There's even a headstone in the cemetery. Not that you want to visit it. If either of you need anything else, you know how to reach me. Thanks, Cecil. I mean, they're dead, so why not just let them go straight into the house with all the neighbors watching? Uh, much better. I'm going to go lie down for a bit. And drink a bottle or two of wine. Responsibilities that a normal human 
Let's don't. I want to do what you do. I want to be just like you. You will be, son. You will. Wow. Mom, I'm going to order something for dinner. Oh, God, if she hung herself. Oh, God, if she hung herself. I'm going to get a pizza. Oh, no, she's just crying. I was going to say, she probably hung herself, but she didn't. Ah, yes. The man you were in love with didn't exist. How does that make you feel? Mark! What is she doing here? Whoa. Did she just kiss him? Does this mean... No! Have some fucking self-respect! Have some self-respect, you little cuck boy. Say no. Say no. You want. But what about... She's not here because you. She's here to soothe her own guilty conscience. Say no. Looks like I wasn't the only person being lied to. You know how many men is my... said your dad was killed when a gas line blew up across the street. He didn't lie to to you exactly he just withheld information there's a difference not that hard to figure it out from there detective amber ready to help out on any tough cases that come up detective amber i have a blender that's not working do you mind checking it out Oh, right, so you're gonna let him emotionally... Yeah, no, that's just manipulative. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, come on! Mark! Oh, man, it's so good to see you're all right. I... Bros before hoes. Do yourself a favor, kid. Bros before hoes. I mean, after everything on the TV about you and Omni... Uh... Ugh. Uh, hey, Amber. Uh, um... She knows about my dad. Oh, okay. They know? You guys want to, uh... They know? Oh, you mean like fucking Adam woman that goes around saving the day and Invincible that was with Adam woman during the alien invasion, which you would have no doubt seen on TV and you apparently knew that he was Invincible, but you somehow didn't know that she knew he knew. Are you serious right now? This makes no sense. This is why they shouldn't change the script. You don't change the script until you review the script. That is so stupid. Plot holes everywhere. Let's go out. No! I just lost respect for him. We're not open. How did you get... That's racist. That implies that Chinese spies can get through security doors. That stupid question. What can I do for you? I spent so much time thinking about if Nolan had killed the Guardians and why he would have done it. I, I didn't think about what would happen afterwards. Where it would leave me and Mark. After everything Nolan said and did. Has anyone seen Batman the Animated Series? Tell me he doesn't look like old Batman. We used to watch it in Serbia. It, I used to not speak English. But I used to watch it because, you know, Batman. But he looks like old Batman, doesn't he? Admit it, he fucking does. I still can't believe it. I can't believe our time together was a lie. I wish you'd come back. Me too. Well, he's voiced by the Joker? Nani? Which one? Be one of those. Because Mark Hamill I voiced, um... Less. I don't care. Poor. Damn! Joke and drink. About as badly as you'd expect. Mark, I am so sorry. 
Why are you even here? You literally turned your back on him, even though he was a superhero, for a nonsensical reason that doesn't make any sense. I, you are distracting me from the other characters in this scene because you make no sense. I hope the scriptwriter's got shit for this. I don't know what to say. It's like I'm hollow inside. Nothing seems real. We don't as much as I would love for you to sing Blind by Corn. Uh, I don't have to do this here. No. It's okay. I just need to get out of the house. But uh, can we talk about something else? Yeah, you faked your death, so start going to fast food places in your town. That's not going to cause problems. God damn it. We can try, but it's literally all anyone is talking about in the whole world. Okay. Uh, sorry. New topic. Uh, uh. Hold on. Hello? It's Cecil telling him that he's already blown his cover and that he's an idiot. I need you. I know. You said you don't want to do this. Someone's flying towards Earth from deep space. We're still trying to figure out who it is, but... You know about Mark and Omni-Man now, so you might as well know about me. Wait, you didn't know she was... I met Mark in costume before I realized we went to the same school. I'm, um... Well, I'm Adam Eve. What? Oh my god! Wait, you guys didn't know? How? I see it now! You can make doubles of yourself! No! Oh, god. Oh, that's duplicate. I'm the pink one? Oh, right. Of course. Ouch. Ouch! Ouch! Wait, was he wearing that under his clothes? Wouldn't it get hot? Is it Battle Beast? It's Daddy. Invincible! Oh, it's just you. Oh, thank heavens. I, th I thought I was too late. I have to warn you. Warn me. When I returned to the Coalition of Planets to tell them I'd been going to Earth instead of Morath, they lost their minds. Earth is off limits. There's a filter by living on your planet. Oh, that. Wait, wait, what? You already know? Uh, yeah. I don't understand. Grab a seat. This may take a while. <laughs> so, you know what? He should have really quickly gone to the bottle shop, come back up with a six pack, and, you know, cracked a tinny. You're a Viltrumite, but you don't work for them. And your dad tried to take over the planet, but then left. He just left. That's nuts, man. Yeah. As far as we can tell, my dad is just gone. Didn't Duplicate sleep with her ex and he just called her Duplicate? Oh, 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 ah. Eve's getting a lot of shit in the show that she doesn't deserve. That's kind of ouch. We think Mark has it bad. Meanwhile, her dad's. And her home situation, and her boyfriend, and the Mark thing, and now this, and her friend. Wow. Oof. Oof. Super weird for a Viltrumite. They don't just give up. They're relentless. The word you're looking for is stubborn, like Slavs. They destroyed my world when my people rebelled against them. Like Slavs. Like Slavs! Th that's exactly what we do! Jesus. I'm sorry. Don't be. From the sounds of it, I'm the one who should be apologizing if I checked my orders properly. I would have seen that Earth was flagged for Bilger might take over. I warned you. I would have just gone to my dad and told him everything. Who knows what would have happened then? Can't imagine what you're going through. Literally. Like I have no concept of it. With my whole world gone, my people had to create breeding camps just to stop us from going extinct. I've never even met my father. Breeding camps, you say? Mm. After the last few days.
Wait. I'm jealous. The Coalition of Planets will want to hear about you. A power struggle's brewing in the farthest reaches of space. What kind of power struggle? The Coalition is trying to unite enough worlds to stop the Viltrumite Empire. The thing is, no one's even heard of a Viltrumite abandoning their post. It's insane. It just doesn't happen. This could be the advantage we've been looking for. Sure. Let me know if I can do anything to help. I don't get why you're smiling. Just thinking about everything I've been through. And how huge it all feels. For the fact that it's just a small part of something much larger makes it all seem more manageable. I don't know, but, but it helps. Sorry to rain on your parade. That happens on Earth, right? Anyway, once they find out your father took off, the Viltrumites are going to come for you. Trust me, when they set their sights on a planet, they don't give up without a fight. I'll be ready. I hope so. What's the plan in the meantime? Damn it, copyright! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so like, you know, people, protect them. Let's just grab a bunch of orphans and turn them into robots. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Dead soldiers. Oh yeah, why not? I'm surprised they're not using illegal immigrants. I thought it was going to say get laid. Why does it feel really close to Metal Gear Rising? I don't think Raiden would stand much of a chance against Omni-Man. I mean, he would go out fighting, but... My god. I mean, you could put Raiden in here and it wouldn't be out of place. It'd fit right in. Oh, man. For a season finale, that was really good. It was really, really... Armstrong vs. Omni-Man? What makes you think they would be fighting? I think Omni-Man and Armstrong would actually see eye to eye. Think about it. Think about their dogmas. Omni-Man and Armstrong would probably come to an agreement. Armstrong doesn't give a shit about humanity. Neither does Omni-Man in this scenario. They will probably work together. And Amazon confirmed after the season finale, season 2 and 3 already confirmed. Well, considering the amount of money Bezos is making by not paying any taxes, I'm pretty sure he can afford to make a TV show. You know, because he paid zero taxes on the billions of dollars that he's making because America. And he made a penis-shaped rocket to go into space to overcompensate for his wife that left him. I mean, let's face it. He had to become a um, Austin Powers meme to make up for his lack of... Ability to please his wife. <laughs> but then again, she is my favorite uh, investor of all time. She even trumped Warren Buffett. She has a better track record in investing than Warren Buffett. Seriously though, this show was so good except for what they did with Amber. I, I think a few people are going to take what I said about Amber as me not 
liking the character because I don't like the character and misunderstand that I dislike her character because of the way it's written. Me being critical of a character does not mean I hate the character. It just means that whatever the character's doing or the way they're portrayed it rubs me the wrong way. And in this case, they it doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel right. It's just like it's it's like it it doesn't it just you know what I mean? It just doesn't it just doesn't fit properly. It's like a jigsaw piece that just does it that isn't the piece. It just doesn't feel right because it's not clicking together. Clearly something has not been done properly. And um, you guys sort of, you know, in the comments on YouTube were pretty much saying that it's because they changed the character from the comics, but clearly they didn't actually go back and review the impact it would have on all the other dialogue. That's why it's not making sense now. They changed the few things, but they didn't consider how it would change the whole arc in terms of the conversations and interactions between the characters, which is a real shame because what? It's an eight episode season there can't be that much script that you couldn't review it. I mean, come on, man. For a show called Invincible, he sure gets beat up a lot. He is truly invincible in spirit and not physically. Have you seen a show called Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> you might be surprised to learn that it's about an alchemist that's not fully metal. To me, if you don't have that scene... It would have, I would have liked Amber. And I'm tired of Twitter saying I'm racist that I hate animated Amber. Typically, people that call racism and sexism do so because they have nothing else to stand on. People like to change the argument and turn it into something that it's not. So as soon as you disagree with someone, you're either racist or sexist. Or probably both. Or, or a Russian bot in my case. Because beep boop, I can't be real. I, I'm a bot. This is like a, a, a VR machine. I'm a VR person. I'm not real. <laughs> so um, I honestly don't, you know, I don't take the internet seriously. Because think of how stupid the average person is. And then come to the realization that half of them are stupider than that. And that makes sense as to the crap that's online. So, you know, I ignore those people like everyone else in society does. So, yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah. So th that that's my critique of it. The ca I, I, I actually enjoyed Amber's character and her relationship with Mark. You, you saw me. I was, you know, I was really into it seeing where it goes. And then even when they had that thing, I had nothing wrong with it because it's the story of two teenagers, you know, dating each other and going through that cycle. And I was I was definitely giving her the benefits of the doubt and saying, well, she doesn't know if she knew, you know, this will all be different. And then I'm like, come on, dude, go just jump up there and fucking tell her the truth, you know? I was all about it. I'm like, come on, dude, don't be stupid. Just tell her the truth. And then he tells her the truth and she's like, yeah, I've known all along. And I'm like... That makes zero sense because if you knew all along, half the things you said, you wouldn't have said. And then it's like, oh, they changed the script. And I'm like, what the f... So I don't like the character because it's poorly written and executed. It's not that I, I liked the character up until the point where they butchered it. That's not sexist, racist, or whatever the fuck. I, I, I personally don't care. <laughs> I've never been one to care about a character's gender or race. Like, it's never made a difference to me. I, I grew up watching Americanized TV shows ever since I was in Serbia as a kid. And when I came here to Australia, I was watching South Park. And so I never even saw it as gender or race. Like, to me, it was just all the same thing. But, I don't know, it seems to be a thing here in the West where everyone's supposedly racist. Which kind of seems a little bit moronic to me. Because yeah, there are some racist people, but not everyone's racist. <laughs> Particularly in this day and age. I hate everyone equally. Well, you don't discriminate. Okay, so yes, I like it. I'm happy about the confirmation for season two. We'll definitely watch season two when it comes out because I really did enjoy this. You guys know my feelings on the show so far. 
I didn't exactly expect the final episode to be as raw as it was. I, I no doubt expected some sort of showdown. I saw that meme, Think Mark Think, ages ago when it was trending. But I didn't really expect the whole episode. And thank you, G Walker. Thank you. I didn't really expect it to be a whole episode of him trying to convince Mark. I can't... I like the entire season I was like okay he killed them what's going on and my thought was that they might want to get rid of Mark because they might perceive him as a threat my logical deduction was that Omni-Man is powerful and that the other guardians will fear Mark because he will one day become as powerful as Omni-Man and they don't want to take the risk that he might turn bad so they might you know try to take him out and Omni-Man, in some logic, wants to protect his son by eliminating the threat before it becomes a threat. Turns out that wasn't the case. But, you know. Think, Kuma. Think. You don't watch the memes of a show before you watch the show. Well, we don't watch shows for the show. We watch the shows so we can understand the memes. That's what I'm all about. I'm, I'm all about the memes. That's all I'm about. Uh, we're going to be the same. I mean, the ancient Egyptians were the OG meme lords. They didn't use letters. They used memes. We just don't understand the memes. The hieroglyphs are all memes. They're the OG memers. They're meme lords. All the pharaohs were meme lords. That's why they kept making pyramids. It was a meme. We just don't understand it. Um, so, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. I love Jojo for the memes. I've only watched part one and two. Really enjoyed it so far. Uh, people keep giving me crap that I watched that one second from every JoJo episode, saying that that spoiled the show for me. And having watched part one and two and rewatched that video, I can tell you now, without a shadow of a doubt, watching one second from every JoJo episode does not spoil the show. Because even now, I'm sometimes, wait, what was that moment from? Oh yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, I remember. I'm like, wait, how the fuck does that spoil anything? Uh, I think some people are just overly sensitive to memes. Can you be overly sensitive to memes? I don't know. You probably can. Okay, so next up is Final Fantasy VII Abridged. From my understanding, and someone please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm trying to stay as blind to the story as humanly possible. I haven't played the OG Final Fantasy VII. I have played Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've been told that the Final Fantasy VII Abridged will not spoil the story beyond what was covered in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Please... If I'm incorrect in that, tell me now because I want to stay blind to it because I'm enjoying the shit out of the game. Really enjoying it. Good game. If you haven't played it, go play it. Really good. Graphics, awesome. Gameplay, awesome. Music, fantastical. Characters, amazing. <clears throat> I did ask you to react to it after playing Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Timing, 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 timing. I have a little bit more time now because I'm working from home, but at the time, <laughs> I had a lot less time. So I'm making time for it now. Only season one. Is there more than one season? Is there more than one season? If there is, we'll have to save it after uh, the next part of Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I think is coming out next year, if I'm correct. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. So, but first, let's take a quick little break. Uh, we've been watching for 90 minutes. I think it's safe to say to take a little break. I restart the stream just so it gets separated uh, on Patreon because I do have to delete this first part of the stream. But it will be up on Patreon because uh, we don't want Bezos to blow a head gasket. So, let's take a quick little break. Kumba thinks we're getting the part next year. I love how <laughs> I see that you're using the Dante. Emote. I'm I'm happy that you're using it. It's such a good emote. I love it. I love it. I love that you're using emotes. <laughs> I'm motivated. I'm 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 being very optimistic. It's very rare for me to be optimistic, but oh man, the reason why Dante is uh, was given a um to be what's it called a little me fighter, we me fighter is because they wanted Virgil to be the one to announce Devil May Cry in Smash. And I'll